Now that you've activated your Server 2019 lab environment, we have one change to be made. The network adapters do not get properly configured for some reason. Looking at your four virtual machines, LUN-DC1, LUN-SVR1, LUN-SVR2, and SVR3, just below that, see the blue config plus. Select that with a single left click for each virtual machine. Notice that the network adapters, the NICs, are assigned to none. We need to change that. Above the virtual machine, see there's another blue bar? We can click on that one time with a left click. And now, notice the box to the right hand side, Lab Networks. These are the available networks for our virtual machines. Notice that our DC1 has two network adapters. The other ones have a single. Notice that NIC number one is what we're going to modify first. Under Lab Network, select the radio button for London Network. And then, to the right of Assign, to a NIC, select LUN DC1 NIC1. Click Assign. Wait for your screen to refresh. Select the blue bar. Next, select to a NIC again. Select SVR1 and Assign. Wait for the screen to refresh. Select to a NIC, SVR2, NIC1, Assign. Rinse and repeat for LUN SVR3. To a NIC, NIC1, Assign. Once our screen refreshes, let's scroll down, take a look. We can see London Network is assigned to all four of the number one NICs. Number two NIC for LUN DC1 is not assigned yet. We're going to assign that to public. We're going to select the radio button for Lab Networks, Public, Assign to a NIC, LUN DC1 NIC2. Click Assign. We're now ready to be able to utilize our network. We're going to click that blue bar one more time to collapse the lab resources. Just to give you a quick overview, we turn each virtual machine on by clicking the on button. To access the virtual machine, just as if it was a physical server, you click the console button. Once you've clicked that console button, now it's not turned on right now, you'll notice that you can navigate from virtual machine to virtual machine without having to return back to the main lab screen. I can click power on and simply turn it on. Once it is powered on, once it has gone through its first initial setup, or thereafter to log on to this machine, these are servers, you have to press control alt delete. Well, if we do that on our physical machine, it's going to want to lock our machine. We would see something, well, it just disappeared, you can't see it right now, but it would lock our machine. Once this unit is powered on, right here at the top of your, your command bar, you'll notice there will be a button that is, that is clickable that says Control-Alt-Delete. That will emulate pressing the Control-Alt-Delete keys and send it to that virtual machine for you to be able to log on. This is how we access our machines. I'm going to go ahead and tell this to power on. You can see that it's booting up just as if it was a physical machine. Remember, virtual machines don't care. As far as they're concerned, they're physical systems. This is the initial setup for this first server. It's going to go ahead and it's going to set itself up. I'm going to click the Back to Lab button and return back to my lab environment. While that's starting up, you can see the title bar changed to a green color as well. It's no longer gray. I'm going to do the same thing for LUN Server 1. I'm going to tell it to turn on. You should be doing the same thing. We'll wait for the screen to refresh. There it is. Server 1 is turned on. I'm going to click the On button for Server 2. 
wait for my screen to refresh and the same thing for server 3 all four of my virtual machines are now setting themselves up if I want to watch their progress I can click the console button for Lund DC1 for example and starting services it's already we don't have to install server it's already there it's simply getting configured we're almost ready to go it's going to take a few more minutes but you'll be at a prompt where you can click see how this button is now clickable once you get the screen you see the date and the time press control alt delete to log on you'll click that button you're going to type in if it's not already there the username is administrator we're going to be using the default administrator account and the password is the same as your initial access to ace it labs it's that capital p lowercase a one one and then word lowercase p a one one w o r d with a capital p that is the password that we'll use to access all of our virtual machines remember this is a test lab environment we're not super sensitive about security in this because we don't we're not using this for production we'll have discussions about passwords later on in the course get that set up get that going and follow the instructions in your 70-740 setup instructions and domain creation video follow that to begin to get your domain started up and get on the right page for where we're at in today's lesson. You don't have to go any farther than getting logged into that LUN DC1 and go to the section where the, we, we rename the computer to LUN-DC1. I'm going to pause this video while it gets to the point to where I can configure the network adapters because I want to show you your network configuration. I'm going to be back in just a few moments. Okay, so I've typed in my password to capital PA11WORD. It already said administrator. I'm logging in for the first time. Server 2019 wants to run at a very high resolution. So the first thing that we need to do is lower the resolution so that it's more readable on our screens you'll notice the mouse is very small i'm going to wait here just a few more moments my desktop should appear you're going to do this to each one of your four virtual machines this will be the first thing you do when you when you first time you log into each one of them So here comes up my desktop. But server manager is going to log, going to open up. Server manager is what we use to manage our server. I'm going to right click on my open part of my screen. I'm going to go to display settings. In display settings, we're going to select resolution. You'll see it says 1920 by 1200. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select 1280 by 960 and click keep changes you can see our screen is much more readable now and here it comes server manager in server manager on your left hand column select local server this is going to give you a synopsis of the setup of your server You can see our two network adapters. I've not renamed this yet. It's the first time we've logged into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on either one of these IPv4 addresses assigned by DHCP. It's going to open up my network connections. You can see that Ethernet says unidentified network. Ethernet 2 says network. Let's right click on that and go to status, then details. We can see this has been given a 10 dot network address by DHCP. This is our public interface. This is connecting us to the public internet. I'm going to close. I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename this 
public and press enter my other network adapter I'm gonna right click and rename London network and press enter initially we're not going to need to use the public network this is what we'll use if we need to download something from the internet a, a, an extra program whatever it might be for now I'm gonna hover over public I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna disable public is now disabled we can re-enable it at any time and gain access to the internet hover over London network right click left click on properties double click IPv4 we're gonna set an IP address for this remember servers need to be able to be found the same place every single time we want a static IP address I'm gonna click use the following address and the address that I'm gonna type in is 172.16.0.10 this is a class B address as you might recognize from your network plus learning I'm gonna press the tab button one time Windows recognizes this to be a class B address and automatically filled in the proper subnet mask for us we don't need to make any other changes there however we are gonna assign a DNS server this will be our DNS server for our network this is going to be our domain controller DC1 we want to point to ourselves for DNS how do we point to ourselves with a network adapter we use the local loopback address that is 127.0.0.1 these are the only three settings that you need to make for this network adapter IP address subnet mask preferred DNS server click OK click OK close network connections go up to the top of your server manager where the little swirly is click refresh local server we can now see a static IP address assigned to our London network I'm gonna rename this computer and let it restart to the right where I see computer name I see the automatically assigned computer name I'm gonna left click on it one time my system property screen appears I click change the button that says change and I'm gonna type in LUN dash DC1 I'm gonna leave it work group there's nothing else to join to right now I'm gonna simply click OK we're gonna get a warning telling us hey to apply these changes you have to restart your computer I'm gonna click OK I'll click close and I'll have a prompt to automatically restart the computer and there it is I click restart now just as if it was a physical machine our virtual machine is restarting should only take a few moments I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna let the video run and we should be back up here in just a few moments and there we are I can go ahead and I can press that that control alt delete button at the top of my command menu there's my logon window I'm gonna type in capital P a lowercase a one one and then lowercase w o r d press enter here comes my windows server manager will start up remember we leave leave server manager run do not close it we, we, we will be using server manager day in day out all the time this is how you manage server the server manager at this point you should be up to speed with the other students and ready to begin your class today I look forward to seeing you at our 1 a.m. teams meeting have a great day